Hey guys, it's been a while since the last video update, so I'm sorry about that. Um, the reason is I've had my head down. I've been um, I've been working away on 100 to launch challenge stuff and starting to build awareness and get traffic to the websites and getting more and more people aware about what we're doing with the challenge and about the product Gecko Hub as well. Um, but I thought I'd check in with you and let um, let you know what I've been doing real quick. So one of the things I've had um, my head down for and been working on is the blog post writing. So Lots, writing lots and lots of posts for Medium and also for the 100 to launch website. Now the reason for this is I wrote a quite a long in-depth article for Medium a long time ago, um, early 2018, um, and I only realised recently that it was getting the same similar amount of traffic to the version 22 homepage. Um, so every day people were reading the article and learning about um, well, the, it was the subject was about developing products and getting them ready to sell. Uh, but they were so they were learning about all that sort of stuff. But then also clicking through to the website and finding out more about uh, the different products we had. And it was one of these moments where I realised, well, why have I not been doing this more? I wrote that one article, you know, 18, 24 months ago, and hadn't really done anything since. So I've been leaning more into that. I've um, I've written quite a few more. Some of them have already been published through uh, the startup, which. Has, is a publication that has about half a million active readers, which is really cool. So I've had two published through there. They seem interested in maybe one or two more articles of mine, which is really great. And I'm also just, I've been focusing on writing even more. So I've got drafts of about four or five more articles together this week. Um, and to get it right, I need to be drafting them, but then spending as much time editing them afterwards as possible. Um, to really up the quality of the article because it's it's worth putting in the effort I think to to make it something that's really interesting and valuable to read something that people you know they take something away from it and you know feel like they haven't wasted their time reading it you know so that's been quite a lot of work I've got a bit more work um, to put into that but that's going really well um, regarding Gecko Hub we well I actually submitted an order for the prototype parts for the rigid backboard, the square sort of um, plastic backboard part of Gecko Hub which holds all of the components together and mounts to the wall. I've ordered a prototype of that and these circular flexible discs which stick on the front of Gecko Hub, um, I've ordered prototypes of those as well. And they're going to be made using a prototype called vacuum casting which is um, it's a really strange process but it's really cool. Um, a lot of people haven't heard of it unless you're in the special effects industry or the prototyping industry. So it's used quite a lot in the movie industry to make props for films and superhero armor and stuff that's in Lord of the Rings, that sort of thing. And you, what you essentially do is you start with a master part. So you might have a mod, model like this, which you can, you can make yourself, you can carve out of, um, you know, a block of plastic. Um, you could, 3D print it, for example, which is often the way that it's done in the product development world. And then you make a flexible silicon mold around that master part, remove the master part, and then you pour liquids in, um, which can be many different types of liquid to form. So you can make a, a completely transparent version of this mug. You can make a, a mug that looks exactly like this, but it's made of rubber. So again, you can see the value of that in the movie industry. If you wanted someone to be smashing car windows with a hammer um, for safety reasons they might not want you to use an actual hammer and they'd have safety glass so what they'd do is they'd vacuum cast a copy of a hammer that's made out of rubber or plastic or something like that um, and you can use the same process in product design and product development so the backboard will be made out of a liquid resin that's poured into this rubber mold and that liquid resin, when it hardens, will have the same properties as ABS plastic, which is the same sort of plastic that is used in power tool casings. Um, so really, really strong, tough plastic. But then at the same time, although you're using the same process, the discs will be made from a liquid that, when it sets, it sets into a rubber. So it acts like silicon rubber, which is the final material that we used in the production version of Gecko Hub. So, it's, it's quite an interesting process. It's quite intricate. Um, I've had a, go, had a go at it myself with the equipment that I bought on eBay. And I've got some results. I've made parts, but they've, they've looked not very good. Um, but they've been enough for me to test 
uh, test ideas and get things off the ground. So I used it in the early development of Nimble. Um, but to get a prototype of Gecko Hub that really looks the part, I've paid professionals to do it for me. So I'm expecting parts in a few days, maybe 10 days. So I think in about two weeks, I'll have a, a video update for you, sharing, you know, unboxing all the parts, putting it all together, and maybe even trying the prototype of Gecko for the first time. So that'll be really exciting. Um, I'm also going to record a podcast, which is a bit more of a deep dive into all the data behind the 100 to launch project. So things like web traffic, how many email signups have we got, how many medium article reads have we got, all the sort of numbers which help give us an idea of how things are going at the moment and what sort of awareness we're building of the campaign. Um, so that's more of a deep dive. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about the behind the scenes marketing and the numbers and all that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe to the 100 to launch podcast and um, that episode will be coming out really soon. So that's it for this update. Um, I won't leave it too long before I, I publish another one. So uh, I'll see you soon.